Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Microsoft Excel and today we are going to see this new released Lambda function in Excel for Mac. So let's go and see the things in action. Let us quickly understand what is Lambda function and where should we use it. So Lambda function is similar to the UDA functions. What we are going to do is that we are going to create our own calculations and we can write our own formulas into the Lambda and we can reference it to the cell that input argument and then we can use them again and again. The best example I can show it to you with the VBA and we are not going to dive into VBA but this is just an example a very popular function which is called spell number. And if you like to copy this, you can copy it on my website. I'll share the link in the below video description. So this is the UDF function, which is called user defined function. And we can use this function anywhere in our workbook. Let's say I would like to call this spell number and I'm going to reference it over here. So that will spell the number for me and I can use it anywhere in my workbook. So I don't need to worry of writing that code again and again. Now Lambda does exactly the same thing. Now Lambda, we can just write the functions on your spreadsheet and then you can turn it into a Lambda and you can use it anywhere in your workbook. So let us first quickly understand the syntax of the Lambda. So as you can see, Lambda, it needs a parameter and calculation. Very simple. So you can give all your parameters and then you can use your calculation. Now in this example, we would just like to add up these values. Now what is the value in the column A and column B? We just wanted to add them. So the simple calculation will be equals to this cell plus this cell. Perfect. So we got the results A plus B. Now that is cool. Now if you want to draft this thing in Lambda, what I'm going to do is going to call Lambda. The first thing, or let us do it in this way. We are just going to copy this cell and the best way would be always take your calculation and then turn it into Lambda. So let's say this is our calculation. Okay, so now we need two input arguments. How did I know that I need two input arguments? Because I can see that it is referenced to two different cells. Now let's call this Lambda and I need two variables. So or the parameters and I can give them any name. So let's say we are going to give them A and then we are going to say B now comma. And after that, we need to do that calculation. Now that calculation is the one which we have copied and pasted over there. So we can just simply replace that with A and this one with the B and close parentheses. This is exactly what is that. So you're giving two input arguments. These are the two input arguments, your parameters, which is there, and then you are adding them. So this is how it gets added. Now, when I press enter, I'm going to get a calc error because there is no input argument given to it. So to give the input argument, I can just open the parentheses at the end of the function and I can just reference it to the cell one. That is my A input comma and that is my B input. Close parentheses, enter, then we got that results. Now I'm going to fill this down. It works exactly the same. Now you mean to say that Faraz, every time I need to copy and paste this long function? No. This is the magic where it happens. Now, what you have to do is you have to just copy this Lambda, what you have created right now. Let's go to your formulas and under the formulas, you'll find define name. So we are going to define that name. So it has automatically took that heading name of that column, which is the Lambda. And we'll call this as uh, add values. Now we are just simply going to paste that lambda what we have copied so we are just going to paste only the lambda construction of the formula not that input arguments remember not the input arguments only the lambda what you have created and you can just press ok so it will get added to this as defined name one thing what i found in the mac is missing is that you cannot give or define a text box like how you have it for the windows where you can easily put a text where it says that a what is the value of a and what is the value of b if somebody wants to go and check it out he can simply check it so let's go and click now okay now your lambda is created now all we have to do is just go and call that function so we're going to say that add add values see we have it over here open parentheses now we have those two input arguments a comma b close parentheses enter and we got that results that's all we have to do, nothing else. 
This is a simple stuff what we have seen right now, but let us look a tiny complex calculation where we have this calculation list over here. And as you can see, we have amounts and we have wanted to calculate the VAT, the total amount plus the VAT. So the calculation goes like this. So we say quantity multiply by the amount and then we are going to multiply it by 115%. This is the calculation. So you get that VAT value. Now, how this thing would work in Lambda? Now, in this one, we have two dynamic input arguments. That means those values will change and we have one static input. Now, how this will work? Because we have a static, it would work exactly the same. So let's go create our Lambda equals to Lambda. Now, Lambda parameters. So what are the parameters? You have quantity, comma, and what do you have? You have the amount, comma, and you have that percentile. Are we going to give that percentile? No, we are not going to give that percentile. I could wrap it up into let function, but I want to make it very simple because we don't want to get a very complex one right now. So I'm just going to take quantity amount. So all you have to do, quantity, now you can see that Lambda has given me that function QTY, okay, when I'm inside the Lambda, quantity multiply by times by AMT. So that's my amount, I can see it over here. And that times by 115%, close parentheses, enter. Again, we got the calc error and let's put that input arguments. So quantity, comma, the amount, close parentheses, enter, we got that same values. Now, what is the rule? You just copy this lambda from here, go to your formulas, define names, and we are going to call this as calculate VAT, VAT underscore 15%. So I know this is as per the 15% calculation and let's paste this one, it looks perfect. Click OK. Now we don't need this one. We just need to call calculate VAT, open parentheses. Your input argument is that quantity, not times, we have to say comma because that is a second input argument. And then we are going to say the amount and close parentheses, enter, and we got the results over here. So we got exactly the same results. Now, if I need to call my Lambda over here, let's say that calculate VAT, 15% of this one. Okay, let's open parentheses, then select this, and then what we have, the quantity. Let's say this is the only quantity. Close parentheses, and we got that result. So I don't need to write that 115% again and again. You can just simply do that calculation anywhere in my workbook. So that's how the Lambda function works, my friend. And this was a very basic video which we have done today. And we are going to dive deep into some complex calculations and we are going to see how Lambda can be efficient. Now, if you are going to look for the benefits, just imagine that when you're using Excel online, that time you don't need to have a VBA to run your code. You can just use this user defined function and you can use it all across your sheet. There will be no compatibility issues if you are on Office 365 subscription. The person just need to have this Lambda on his uh, system and he can work it around. Now, if you want to share this Lambda with someone, when you share this workbook, the Lambda goes along with that one. So if you want to download this workbook, feel free to download it from my website. I'll be sharing that link as well. And if you like to share it with somebody, this Lambda, then you don't need to share this calculation, my friends. Remember, then you need to go to your defined names. Okay. And you just need to select your calculation and you need to copy this part of formula and hand it over to them. So they can then go and add it in their defined name and then they can use this Lambda easily. Remember not to share this calculation, my friends. Remember, you have to share this formula so that anybody can use it in their workbooks. So can it be referenced to another workbook? Um, as of now, I have been testing and I didn't find that. But yes, you can use this function to reference it to another workbook, but you cannot call in from the another workbook. Okay, because it has to be in that workbook to call that function. So that's all for today, my friends. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you got to learn something new about Lambda. And do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about Lambda and what are the challenges when you are thinking about this function. And uh, I'll be seeing you soon in the next video, by the way. And that time we are going to 
dive a little deep into the complex calculation and see how lambda can change our life so seeing you soon my friends in the next video of the lambda function series till then take care see you soon happy learning bye